Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of mprugs.com. Hope you and your family are doing well. In today's episode, I'm going to be featuring a type of handmade Persian carpet that many of us who are passionate about all things with handmade carpets, we refer to a rug like this, like the Holy Grail. This is something that most of you that whether you own a Persian rug or whether you are just simply interested in the handmade carpets, and it doesn't really matter whether it's Persian, whether it's Turkish, Indian, Chinese, doesn't matter what type of handmade rug. You are about to be introduced to something that is truly extraordinary. This is right here the only silk foundation Chahala Nain rug that we have had in our hands, in our possession, that I have been able to feature not only in our website, but this is something that I myself have been looking for for over 10 years. This is, for those of you that are into Persian rugs, you will know the Nain Persian rugs one of the main types of Persian rugs that have become very popular in the last 30, 40 years, thanks to weavers like Habibian, who basically revolutionized the Nain weaving in the central Persian province of Isfahan and the largest city, Isfahan, which is actually near Nain, they have a lot of things in common. Nain used to be the wool and the weaver supplier. So the workers and the wool came from Nain. It's a small town about 60 kilometers away from Isfahan. And they would go to Isfahan and literally work there in the rug shops. Well, starting in the 60s, starting in the 50s, Mid early 50s, mid 50s, and then it really took off in the 60s when the Nain rug production also started. And one of the most popular ones, one of the people that a lot of um, those of us in the rug industry, we refer to him as kind of like the granddaddy of them all when it comes to the high end Nain rugs, and that is Habibian. Well, he passed away several decades ago, and his weaving techniques that he basically pioneered and mastered and taught on to others is still being found every once in a while. Even though the Persian rug production, I have talked about it in some of my other videos, has really declined, it has really become difficult to find these over-the-top amazing types of handmade Persian rugs. And right here we have, this is something that I am absolutely thrilled about. Um, I'm going to be inserting some video clips that I also took, but we were able to get this beautiful Nain rug, and what is amazing about it is also not only the absolute amazing forelock quality, which I will explain to you in a little bit, but these are actual silk foundation, but this is a new rug that was made like the older pieces. For those of you that have followed my channel, and I have talked about it in some of my other videos on the Nain rugs in the last five or ten years. We have noticed a, um, a real decline, not so much in the workmanship, but they just um, basically, they're making two types of the same grade rug. For example, I have made videos about the six law pieces, the shish law pieces, how you can have some that are 600 knots per square inch, 500 knots per square inch, but you can also have six law pieces that have 350, 400 knots per square inch. 
And with the Nain rugs, what matters is the quality is measured by how many threads there are in a single fringe. So in this case right here, what I did was I literally cut one off just on the edge, took it apart under a magnifying glass, and yes, this is a genuine Chahala, which is Chaha is Farsi for four law. And absolutely amazing what is uh, unfortunately, if you go to our website at mprugs.com, if you look at the rugs and the pictures, the pictures and even the video, they don't even come close to doing the type of justice that this rug deserves. Like I said, as you know, I've talked about um, on my channel, I've been, I grew up in the rug business. This is basically what I was born into. And this is something that I have been looking for for well over 10 years. Since the majority of these over-the-top Nain Chahala pieces are made for very rich, very wealthy buyers in the Middle East, typically the Emirates, Dubai, Saudi Arabia. So they buy up these types of rugs and they oftentimes custom order them. And they want very large rugs because this is the type of rug with this quality that people want to showcase in their palaces and all that. So what I like to do is I always look for pieces that normal people can afford. And with normal, I mean, um, here you have a rug that was... Um, owned by a rug dealer and then they sold it to us when they closed down the shop they sold this one and they also had a few other pieces and these are all the same size five foot by eight foot right right about roughly uh, 1.6 meters by two and a half meters and amongst them was this piece right here and i was dumbfounded as to why they wouldn't, buy was still available, and then, as I learned, their asking price was literally twice of what we're offering it for. And so I told them, I said, well, no wonder it's been with you, because you have had this for years, and you haven't sold it. And as the guy said, well, I cannot sell this for less, because it would not only basically take away from the other rugs that I've sold, I would then have to deal with buyers who would come back and say, hey, wait a minute, you sold us similar pieces or other pieces. Why is this one now all of a sudden being discounted? So he just didn't want to deal with it. We bought it. It is now for sale, and this is a type of rug that I don't think is going to stay with us for very long. But while I still have it, I just wanted to feed, point out, like I said, this is the finest Nain rug that we have, that I have featured on our channel. Um, this is a silk foundation for law. If you look at the medallion, you can see by the pictures and in the videos, as you turn, depending on the light side and the dark side, the amount of silk that is deeply embedded, whether it is in the medallion, or here you can see the flower vase and you see the animals below. Absolutely, the detailing, this is what you expect from an extremely high-end type of Persian rug. You also have the signature of the weaver at the top there. Mister. Uh, this is from the Akbari workshop in Nain. But um, what is also special about the signature is that it does not feature the fake Habibian signature that you typically find on a lot of the high-end pieces. But as I mentioned to you, as you see the video there, um, as I'm walking around the rug, the detailing and everything, the workmanship is over the top.
This is what my clients look for. Um, like I said, when they want to add something to their rug collection that is almost like a one of a kind. And the design, this Merop design, for those of you that are new to Persian rugs, you may have seen this, for example, on the Turkish Herike rugs. You also see this in a lot of the Persian, the pure silk, the gom rugs. These types of rugs in the Middle East are hung on walls, and they, the idea is that they point, when you look through it, think of this as being a window. It point, you would be looking in the direction of Mecca. This Merab design, it is perfectly fine when you put it on the floor. Given the size of the rug, this is something that a lot of my clients tell me, Mike, we put it down and we walk on it from both ways and it's no big deal. But ideally, as you can see, absolutely perfect for hanging. And I would imagine this rug has a 50-50% chance of either being hung on the wall or it's going to be placed in a formal, quiet area, home office, um, a lot of my clients, they get these types of rugs for formal rooms or for their bedrooms or something. So I just wanted to showcase this rug. This is something, again, I would refer to it easily as being a holy grail. Silk foundation, four law, meaning four threads to one fringe. Absolutely incredible. We're talking seven to eight hundred knots per square inch. Over the top, absolutely loving it. And the best part of it is when you compare the Forla piece to other pieces. Again, this is a brand new piece. It has never been walked on. You will see that the pricing is actually extremely competitive. I would be... Hard press, I don't think you're going to find this anywhere else for this type of quality and size with the silk foundation and the silk detailing. I don't think you're going to find it anywhere else, but I'll let you be the judge of that. So anyways, as I've always done um, throughout my channel, I always advise you that if you are um, new to our channel, if you enjoy all things about handmade carpets, feel free to subscribe. We normally come up with a new video about a week or two. We also answer our uh, viewers' questions. The same thing if you go to our website at mprugs.com and also if you click on the, uh, if you view the description below in the video, you will see that I have made a video on what type of pictures I would need if you have questions about a rug that you may have. Show you the type of pictures, you can simply email them to me and I will do my very best to get back to you. So again, here you have it, something I, am, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to feature it again. The last chahala that I had was a regular cotton foundation piece. This one being a silk foundation piece, that takes it to a whole new level. So I'm kind of excited. Not too sure how many days or hours this one is going to stay with us, but we'll see. So in the meantime, I wish you and your family the very best. I'm going to be coming back to you with many more videos to come. In the meantime, take care. Best wishes. Bye-bye.